Welcome to another edition of Buccaneers Insider. I'm your host, Danny Rabinowitz, and today we'll be joined by men's basketball coach Butch Estes and Jim McCurdy will sit down with three seniors from the men's tennis team. But first, I'm joined by baseball player Sheehan Planis Artiaga. Sheehan, thanks for taking the time today. No problem. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, let me ask you about the season so far. How's it been for you? Uh, we've had our ups and downs, but uh, for the most part, it's been positive. Um, we've hit a couple bumps in the road in conference, but uh, we're a resilient bunch, and I think we're going to finish the season on a very strong note. Now, how do you bounce back when you guys are, you, you have been up and down so far this season? How do you bounce back? Uh, well, it's usually accompanied by a pretty hard practice, so uh, that helps us bounce back a little bit. Um, but like I said, we're a very resilient bunch, and uh, we understand that uh, we've also hit, it's not just us, um, it's, it's not just uh, indicative of our play, we've also hit a lot of uh, unlucky stints, so um, we're just trying to control what we can control and do the, best, do the best that we can, so that really helps us bounce back from uh, tough losses that we've had, because, I mean, we, we, never, we haven't been blown out, we've been losing very close games that just one, one or two things don't go our way, and uh, that's, that's the difference in the ball game, so um, if we just look away from that and just act like the, ba the bounce is going to start going our way, that really helps us bounce back. You guys, you're batting close to 400, 376 on the season, 14 doubles, five home runs. It's been quite the season so far for you. Uh, yeah, I was try <laughs> actually trying not to look at my stats, but now that I know them, I, think, uh, I appreciate that no problem. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's been, I've just been trying to do what, what I can do to help the team win, and um, I focus a lot on this, this offseason on improving my power numbers. And um, that's what I've seen the biggest jump in this season. I, I don't look at the numbers, but I mean, in my head, I still I still know them. I keep track of them, even if I'm not even if I'm not trying to. So that's yet. Yeah, I'm really happy with uh, what I've done so far in terms of power output, and uh, I'm hitting in the three hole. So I'm, I'm I'm trusted upon to produce. You were named National Hitter of the Week uh, earlier on in the season. What does something like that mean to you? Uh, yeah, it was really cool. I got I got a I got a T-shirt. Uh, they sent me a National Player. I guess if you're National Player of the Week, you get a free T-shirt. Um, but yeah, that was an, I mean, if you think about how many schools there are in the country and to, for them to, for them to say that yeah. specifically I was the best player in the country, that's, that's an honor. Now you're one of the veterans on this team. What kind of leadership role do you take? Are you more of a vocal leader or more of a lead by example type of guy? I've never been much of a rah-rah type leader. I've always tried to lead by example. Um, coach, uh, coach Pavel earlier in the year appointed five captains and, uh, I was fortunate enough to be one of them. Um, and we do have captains that are more of the rah-rah, uh, fire and brimstone speeches before games, um, those type of leaders. But I've been more, I'm, I'm more of a quiet leader if I, if I have uh, something, something to say or something to, to pitch into a specific player, um, the, way he's, the way he's acting on or, on or off the field, um, I'm so, I'll sort of pull him aside. I'm not really a in-your-face type of leader, and I'll lead by example with, um, by tr trying the best I can uh, game in and game out. Now you've been here at Barry for three years. Is there, are there any moments that stand out? to you some of your favorite moments here? Uh, wow, we've had a lot of moments. Um, we've had a lot of walk-off victories uh, on, our ho on, on our home field. Um, a couple this year, we had a walk-off victory, I think first or second game of the season with Khalil Denson. So just see a freshman um, walk off in that fashion. Uh, we've definitely had a lot of memorable games at our field that ended with um, walk-off victories. Haven't had a chance to play uh, uh, in, uh, in in regional playoffs yet, but um, other uh, other than that, uh, we've had a lot of memorable games that ended in dramatic fashion. What is that like? How exciting is that to be a part of one of those walk-offs? Be uh, down there. Oh, the definitely. You can just feel it. Everybody's chomping at the bit in the dugout, just ready, just ready to ready to run onto the field, and then and then when you see it, it's just. I mean, in Khalil's case, we knew that it was over, so it's just it's just a race to race to see who can get to Khalil, and nobody ever pays attention to the guy that scores the run. It's always the guy that. Uh, that got the hit, so yeah, we uh, we all run towards Khalil, and we're not allowed to dogpile because um, a couple years ago, uh, star pitcher Corey Wachowski was uh, separated his shoulder during a dogpile, so we don't dogpile. But uh, yeah, we all huddle around him, push him around a little bit, so yeah, it's always fun. Now let me ask you a little bit about yourself. Now, you're born and raised here in Miami, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you went to high school down here? Yeah, I went to Berlin Jesuit. And you're a Marlins fan, from what you were telling me before. Sure am. So is there a favorite player uh, on the Marlins that you root for? Uh, well, their big star right now is Giancarlo Stan. I just think he's probably the uh, one of the biggest physical specimens I've ever seen um, in the game of baseball. And uh, he's only, I believe he's 23. He's got a big, bright future ahead of him. And I hope he, stay, hope he stays. We have kind of a, 
uh, reputation for giving away our stars once they get once they get to their once they get to their real prime. But uh, I hope he stays, and uh, I like the Marlins' chances this year. We have a lot of young horses in the young horses in the in the bullpen and in the in the starting pitching staff. And uh, don't don't sleep on us. Very young, very young and eager team. Jim, I want to thank you for stopping by, and best of luck to you as the season continues to roll on. No problem. Glad to be here. And now we shift gears to the tennis courts, where three seniors have done some special things here at Barry. Thank you, Danny. And now I'm here joined by three of the men's tennis seniors, Leo Vivas, Ali Lemaitre, and Romain Costamagna. Guys, thanks for stopping by here on Buccaneers Insider. Leo, we'll start with you. You guys are just coming off the first regular season title in Sunshine State Conference history. What's it been like going through this season and to capture that first title? Well, first of all, the, the team worked really hard this semester. Um, everyone did uh, give the 100%. Did, I mean, everyone practiced great the whole semester. Um, it's great to have the first title and to encourage the guys to keep working hard these last few weeks that we have left. And it feels great. I mean, it's a, one of the first titles of the season. I hope it's not the last one. Ali. You're a senior now, you've been here for four years. What's it been like for you to be part of the men's tennis program for four years here at Barry? Well, it's definitely been a great experience. Being part of the team is something special. We live a lot of really special moments with everybody from the team, coaches, staff, everybody. And now it's time for our seniors to pass it on to the others and wish them the best. Costa, you've been here as well for four years. Now that you're one of the veteran leaders, what's been one of the challenges for you or some of the challenges in trying to get some of the newcomers of the younger players to play up to Barry University tennis? I mean, it's always important when you're a senior to lead uh, all of the freshmen who arrive. I mean, last year we had the chance to, uh, to win the title, to be national champions, so we knew what, what to have to do this year to win again. So it just matter to teach them how to do it, like, run well, to be structural, to like to be organized and stuff. Um, I, do, I like to be a leader on this team, so I spend a lot of good times with all of the new freshmen. I met and Nico, for example. Um, I hope they're going to do it good. Um, I'm really uh, confident uh, with uh, the new freshmen. Costa, you're one of the vocal leaders on the team. You enjoy this role. Out on the court with your doubles partner, Leo, you have become one of the more vocal oh players, doubles players in the country. Talk about what you relish about being out there on the court in doubles play. Uh, well, that's true. I mean, I'm like this in, in my life, you know, every day with my friends, you know, I'm a really happy person, you know. But when I'm on the court, you know, I, I feel some emotion, you know. So I feel like I have to scream sometimes, I have to cheer for my partner, and I really enjoy it. And I'm kind of sad that right now it's like maybe my 10 last games. But I'm going to do my best, and I just love to be on the court just to represent Barry and I'm very proud of it, you know, that's why I'm like this and I just hope that I will be like this till the end and it is the last match. Ali, last year you guys were able to go undefeated for the first time in school history of any sport to win a national title. You've lost twice this year, but is there something special still left in store for this team this year? Well, last year was, was really amazing. I, what we have accomplished, nobody's ever done before. It was a great feeling, amazing feeling. We've kept it in our heads all year long. This year we've lost two matches, but when you look at it, it was really, both of those two matches were really close, very tight. It could have gone either way. Unfortunately, we lost, but as Vivo said, we kept working out all year long, and we aiming for the same, same result again, aiming for a national title. Leo, the standards are pretty high here at Barry University when it comes to tennis. They call you El Presidente, and they started calling you that last year. So being the president, what kinds of laws have you laid down for this year's team in keeping the standards high? <laughs> well, um, thanks to Costa, they started calling me the Presidente. Um, I, I told the guys at the start, especially the freshmen this year, um, that every time you go on the court, you just have to give 100%. No matter what happens, if you lose or win, as long as you give your, your whole self in the court, it's enough, you know. The whole, we have a, such an excellent team, all like all around, ten, uh, tennis-wise. The people are so nice, the attitude is excellent, you know. Um, 
the the law. I think they I didn't say anything to them. I just I know they all know what to do. Most of the team were in the in the last championship, so they know what we have to do and we have to what we have to sacrifice to make it happen again. I mean, they know and they will do it because everyone wants the same thing. We want another national championship. You guys have a big part of your season coming up now where everything matters in the postseason, starting with the Sunshine State Conference Tournament. Guys, how, how big are the stakes now as you get close to the end of the year where, where everything kind of gets raised up to the next level? Well, I mean, it's, it's huge, especially for us three that any match could be our last. I mean, for me, it's I, I, I'm, to, I'm talking about it, I get goosebumps just talking about it because it could be my last matches in um, at Barry playing for Barry. I mean, um, it's it's a great feeling. It's a sad feeling too, but um, I think we're gonna make it this year too. I mean, I've, I have all faith, and I have my team is great in every way. I have faith in them in every single time they go on the court. Ali, Costa, do you want to add to that? What these last few days of being a Barry University men's tennis player mean to you? I mean, uh, I'm very excited for what's going to happen. We uh, just won the season regular Chester Crown Champions. But for us, it's just a, a beginning. You know, we have a couple of weeks to work where you are. And after we have the Chester State Conference Tournament, that can give us a lot of uh, confidence for, for the future. And as I say, Leo, you know, it can be our last match, you know, so we don't want to regret nothing at the end. I think it's the worst thing yeah. if we lose uh, maybe in regional or, some, or in national and to regret at the end. We don't just want to give our best. And I'm sure. We can do it, you know what I mean? We have something in the team that call, you know, like really good spirits. Like we have a lot of good fighters and I'm sure at the end it will matter and when it matters, I'm sure we'll be here. Guys, we really appreciate you being here on Buccaneers Insider for all your contributions over the last three, four years here to Barry University's tennis and good luck as you get ready for the real part of your season. Thank, Thank you very Jim. much. And now back to you in the studio, Danny. Thanks, Jim. And now I'm joined by men's basketball coach, Butch Estes, who's become a regular on Buccaneers Insider. <laughs> coach, appreciate the time as always. Absolutely, Danny. Always a pleasure to be with you. Now, you've had some time to sort of digest and look back at the season. What are your thoughts now, now that you're a few, a few weeks removed? Well, I, I say it with, with some humility, but it was a good year. It was a really uh, probably exceeded our expectations, what we'd hoped, concerning all the newness to everything and every element of our program. The kids did a great job. We had a lot of outstanding individual performances, which were later, those young men were rewarded with a lot of postseason awards. And so, you know, to be able to make the NCAA in the tournament, the whole thing in a capsule was really a good first year. Now, Coach, I know it didn't end the way you would have liked it to. A conference tournament didn't go your way. The NCAA tournament didn't go your way either. And what's this off season? going to be like for you guys as far as putting in some work to make sure those things don't happen again? Well, uh, I do want to make one comment about the national tournament. I, I thought, obviously disappointed in the loss, but that might have been our best game of the year. Uh, sometimes as a coach, you're looking for just, you know, that, that really 100% effort and execution. I thought we came pretty close, as close as we have all year in that loss to Delta State. We had so many opportunities to win that game. So even though we lost at the end, uh, I was really pleased with our preparation and our execution and if we can learn from that experience then that going to the tournament is really going to help us but the offseason is an exciting time and every every team's uh, plans and, and ours uh, you know you're going to improve in three ways Danny you're going to improve by recruiting which we're going to continue to to really put a lot of emphasis on we are going to improve by individual improvement and then we hope to continue to improve our schedule so to make it more attractive more competitive and those are the three elements that we'll concentrate here on the offseason to improve the program. Coach, a couple guys you lose, Garrett Naughton, Manya Peeblestad, obviously very important for you, rebounding, playing down low. How do you go out and replace that? Well, you don't. You first of all depend on your four returning players. And then, you know, we have some guys, uh, Alvaro Somoza is a guy who didn't play a lot but has a lot of potential. And he's uh, very, very gifted offensively. We look forward to watching his development and giving him the opportunity to step forward next year. And then in the recruiting process, you know, we hope to add some things here in the, uh, in the summertime. Now let me ask you about some of those guys that are going to return here. I want to start off with Derek Hill. For me, it seemed like he took such you know leaps throughout the season, got yeah. better and better. You could almost see it game by game. And how excited are you to have him back and have this off season to work with him? Yeah, it'll be great because you know we really did start just right at the beginning, and 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 I too saw improvement. Uh, his assists were phenomenal. His numbers were 
truly unbelievable. Um, but his outside shining got his outside shooting got more consistent. His overall team play and direction and leadership was improved. And so yeah, it was great. Juan Ferales, you know, was pretty steady all year. Great defensively, uh, very consistent offensively. Still some areas he can improve in. Um, you, you, you know, you go you go I guess next to Savad Garner, who you know is just going to be Savad. But there are again some areas he can improve in, and we will work hard on that in the off season. Uh, Unio Beretta is probably the most decorated of all of them, and yet has probably the most areas to improve in and he's already hard at work he never misses a day in the gym so we have a lot to look forward to and then you got Adrian Gonzalez who averaged double figures as a freshman and offensively Adrian was tremendous but as not only with Adrian but our entire team the area that the, the good and the bad news is the bad news is we weren't very good defensively we still had a good year if we can improve in that area next year as a team individually as and as a team then there is really room for improvement for us so that's going to be a big emphasis in the offseason in the defensive end of the floor. So defense will be the thing you're going to stress most oh during gosh. the offseason. Yeah. Yeah, I told them if they get another tattoo that it has to say defense. <laughs> so no more funny tattoos unless it says defense on it. Well, Coach, your, uh, your offseason's been busy so far. You just got back from the Final Four. How was that trip? Oh, it was awesome. It's great to get out and see a lot of guys that you've met through the years in all different directions at every level. It's great for our assistant coaches to get out and network and meet new people. It is a time where there's a lot of jobs open, and we have some awfully qualified assistant coaches who are, to be honest with you, they're interviewing some places. So that's really a compliment to our program and, and, and to our team that other people want our people. So we're, we're happy. Don't know if they'll take these jobs. Don't know if they'll get them, but there's a lot going on in the offseason at Barry University. Now, Coach, that was almost like a scouting trip for you guys. The University of Florida was playing up there in the yeah. Final Four. We're going to open the season next year yeah, we're on the, the road, team we'll taking on a Final Four team, University of Florida. That's going to be a pretty fun trip. It's going to be great. I do have in the contract with Coach Donovan, they can't press us, though. We did have that in the contract. But, no, it'll be a great experience for our kids. I was really pulling for the Gators. Of course, I knew all four of the coaches. And, and, uh, but, but, Billy, what a great job he's done, and, and what a great experience for our guys. And continue, we're going to continue to try to play those games on a regular basis because we think it's great for our team and great for recruiting. You played USF this past season. UF, you play uh, next season. Coach, enjoy the off season, and I hope you get some good work in, and we will see you in Gainesville, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. See you then, if not before. <laughs> thanks, Coach. My thanks to baseball, Sheehan Planis Artiaga, men's tennis seniors, Leo Vivas, Ali Lemaitre, and Romain Costamagna, and men's basketball coach, Butch Estes. Be sure to follow all that's going on in Barry Athletics by visiting GoBarryBucks.com. For Dennis Jezik and Jim McCurdy, I'm Danny Rabinowitz. Thank you for watching this edition of Buccaneers Insider.